In this short film, we're going to be taking a break from making jewellery and showing you techniques, and I'm just going to take you behind the scenes. Intrigued? Keep on watching. My name is Andrew Berry, and welcome to At The Benches YouTube channel. So from your point of view, you see what we've got in front of our bench here. Admittedly, the bench is looking a little bit untidy. Haven't really cleaned it up for several weeks. It's becoming very, very dusty. There's lemon on it here. It's getting really untidy. I got a few little spillages from my borax by here and it is due to be cleaned up. But you can't see what I've got down here. No in my bench skin, my tray here. Um, and I haven't cleaned this up for months. And yes, you may think that um, I keep things really clean, really tidy, but I do, but I do let things go. And for what I can see down here, this is a mess, needs to be cleaned up. I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. And I'm gonna take you through what we're gonna do with the bits and pieces that are in this tray and just try and sort it out because what is in this tray can equate to money. Intrigued? Let me just show you. So you can't see this, the main camera's pointing at me this way, but this is behind the scenes. This is behind my bench and look at the absolute state of it. We've got hammers, saws, we've got lemon, we've got emery paper we've got well let me just give a really closer look of what's going on here and you can see what we've got in this tray that really shouldn't be here look we've got an absolute mess we've got the bits of blue paper that come on the silver we got little bits of flashing for when we'd be doing our delve clay casting we've got off cuts of silver we've got yeah, even broken saw blades. Yes, Andrew Berry does break saw blades. We've got binding wire. We've got bits of emery paper. We have got an absolute mess in this tray and it's about time I did something about it. So if your tray is looking like this, you're not alone. We need to get a couple of containers first of all. I've got a couple of containers, not quite sure what I've done with them. Where are they? See, so even losing containers. Now, there we go. So we need to get a couple of containers. One container I've got here, I keep all my bits of silver in. This is bits of silver that perhaps I can't necessarily use or I may want to use a bit later on. Uh, there's no solder in these little bits of silver, so I could in theory melt them down and reuse them, make them into some sheet or some wire or so forth. So this is all clean, clean scrap. I have another container here for all stuff that really should go into perhaps my little lemel um, container. Uh, that lemel, so what is lemel? Lemel is all this. Lemel is all the little bits of filings and the saw bits, you know, all the bits um, that literally come off the files and the saw blades. That is called lemel. You need to keep that. Don't ever, ever throw it away. I primarily up here in this workshop here that we use for at the bench, we primarily use silver. Um, so we can put that into one container for silver. Then we're going to look at some dirty scrap. Dirty scrap is little bits of silver like this that we have bits of solder on it. Um, like this bit here. This bit has, in fact, I think this is a bit of gold actually, this is here. So yes, we have solder onto this. I don't really want to melt this down to make something from it because we've got solder on it. So I class that as a bit of dirty scrap. So we need to separate them into different containers. So then we can decide what we want to do with them. Everything else in here really does need to come out. So we've got things like our rawhide mallet. That really shouldn't be in there. We've got things like our files. Rub them off, make sure there's no lemon on them. We've got buff sticks, put them away. Everything should have a place, put them away. We've got our saw frame on the side there. We've got these sort of 
drying rags that we use. Again, they shouldn't be in the tray. Scalpels, and we got lots and lots of things. We got things like Tripoli, we got things like Rouge in here as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So first of all, we're gonna look to see what we've got that we can reuse. We got a container here of good scrap, bit of wire, put that in the container. Nice bit of rectangular section, put that in there. Everything that we can reuse that does not have solder on, put it into a container. Everything should have its place. Got some little bit of beaded wire there. I forgot I actually had that. See, this is what happens. You forget. So let's tidy all that up. And again, nice bit of silver there from the job I'm working on at the moment. So all this we keep. All this is good little bits of silver. Okay, there's a, a bit of rod there that we've been rolling down. It's all good stuff. We need to keep all this, okay? So that's gonna go in my container that I can reuse. Then we've got other stuff here that, like this bit of blue paper. Now, don't throw this away. If you can look really, really closely, you can see on this blue paper, we've got bits of lemel. So we need to keep it. We can throw that in our lemel bag. The lemel bag, our sweeps bag. Bit of paper. Well, that was my shopping list there. What happened to that? But this has lemel on it. So let's put it into a container. We've got little bits of emery paper. Great, pop that into that container. So what is going in this container is stuff that has bits of lemel on it. Okay, the bits of lemel, bits of emery paper. So these have little bits of precious metals on them. Go over your tray, segregate everything. All right, so that's that container. I got things like this. I've only got little things like polishing mops just left in here. We've also got then bits of steel. Okay, we've got bits, there's a binding wire here. Now that really can be thrown away. There is nothing in that, wipe it down. There is nothing in that that we can reuse. That can be thrown away, but wait. We've got bits of saw blades here as well. Saw blades, saw blades. I, I do actually snap quite a few blades. Saw blades, but don't throw these blades away. Put them in that container with your emery paper and your little bits because these saw blades have little bits of gold or little bits of silver on them that can be extracted. Emery paper, emery paper. It's looking quite good now. So we just, just go through it all. There's bits of wax, but this wax has bits of silver impregnated into it. It's a bit of steel binding wire. Wipe that down again, that can be thrown away. So Within your workshop, you should always have different containers. So different container for gold, different container for silver, and anything that has dirty scrap, anything that has solder in it, ideally should be returned back to the refiners. Now don't mix all these together. Don't mix your lemel, which is the, the dust, with this, with your bits and pieces that has bits of lemel on it. And the reason being is the fact that different grades of waste. If you have your lemel, all right, you put that in a separate container, you'll get more money for that lemel than what you would do is if you had a whole lemel and your bits and pieces, your saw blades and your emery paper. Cause it's different grades. This is quite a low grade waste. Your lemel is low, almost like a medium grade waste. And then the bits of silver that has your solder on it is quite a high grade waste. So when you come to send them off to the refiners, you send them off in separate parcels, in separate containers. We have a huge big bag downstairs in our workshop that I will put all these emery papers, the saw blades and so forth. That's called a sweeps bag. That's what you sweep perhaps off the floor. Yeah, even we, everything that comes off the floor goes in our sweeps bag. We wipe our bench down, perhaps 
with a, a, a damp cloth or some wet wipes, there's lemon on it, but it's a low grade waste. So we will put that in our sweeps bag. We will have a little lemon jar. So all the lemon that comes, which is the dust, that will go in a lemon jar and so forth. So you get the whole idea. This is money that is just hanging around. I would wait until I have a reasonable amount of lemon before I send it off. Likewise, with this very low grade waste, we normally wait about a year or so until we get a big bag full. Then we send that off to the refiners and they process it in different ways. So that's why I would never mix your lemon in with your sweeps or your low grade uh, or your high grade silver with solder on it in with your lemon because they process them in different ways and they charge you accordingly. All right, you get the general gist of the idea. So let me tidy up this tray and get some sort of order in my life. Now, when it comes to things like this, like bits of um, tools, bits of, um, what have I got on here? There we go, things like this. That is my little white nylon brushes that are coming to the end of their life, or even these little sanding drums that really sort of come to the ends of their life. What do you do with them? I would put them in my sweeps container. Again, because they do have little bits of gold or little bits of silver on them. That is money. Oops, good one. I got bits of brass. I'll put that into another container. I don't really need to have brass on my bench, so that'll go into another container. And if there's anything that you're unsure about what is within your tray, don't risk it. Don't put it into your silver to reuse if you're not sure. Just put it into your low grade waste, your sweeps, little box here. There's a lump of lump of silver there that I use for some casting. So that'll go into my box. I realize now why I don't do this that often. Oh, it's a boring, boring job. <laughs> but I've got a lot of rubbish out of my tray. And these trays, that we use have a bit of a sieve in the middle and there's a container that goes underneath. And now we can get a little paintbrush and we can use that to bring it all into the middle and use that little sieve now to sieve out all the lemon. I'm quite impressed with this tray, nice. Taking me about 10 minutes to do this um, and the, uh, you should really keep your tray clear. The reason being is you drop a stone, it's easy to see. You drop a jump ring, it's easy to see where it is. A lot of the times when your tray becomes really dirty, you drop something and sometimes you can't be bothered trying to find it, so you get another one out of the drawer. You drop a jump ring, you can't be bothered trying to find it in the tray. So what you do, you just get another one. And that's waste because you're just leaving it in your tray instead of using it. Okay, so that's the sieve used. All we got left on here now are these little bits and pieces. Underneath here, we've got, as you can see, all this lemon that has come out of our tray. We got some little bits of saw blades in here as well that we do really need to take out because that should not go into the lemon. So again, need to sort that out. That will go now into a container where we will save it up again for about a year or so. Just depends on how busy we are. It doesn't matter for me if there's gold and silver mixed up with this because when they melt it down and they assay it, they refine it, I will have the results for gold and silver and they will give me then perhaps some metal or put some money into my bank account, depending on how much silver and how much gold is in it. So that's that. Let me just put that back on the bottom a second. And then what we got left in here, we can now easily just look at it and pick it up 
that's a bit of silver there and put it into our level we got again we got some little bits of silver that we can take out but the rest of this then we put into our sweeps right, get another bit of silver there and then when we finished we have got a lovely lovely clean tray now when i was saying about um stones dropping into the tray if you're using things like emeralds topaz that sort of thing that sort of thing those sort of gemstones that are quite delicate and brittle always put something down on the tray first like a piece of paper or a bit of card so the the stone doesn't hit the steel and it won't crack. That's looking pretty good. Impressed with that. Okay, I got to turn my attention now to my top of my bench here. Now, the one thing that I would suggest you get, especially for around the around the workshop, um, are things like baby wipes, wet wipes. The uh, refiners here in the UK, there's a company called Pressman Master Melt. They'll actually give you these little wet wipes. And the idea with these is, is that every, you should keep them by the side of your bench and perhaps end of every day or just before you go and have your lunch, and it's nearly lunchtime for me now, is get them is to wipe your hands. Because again, you've got lemel, you've got sweeps, you've got bits of precious metals on your hands. Come along then, wipe your tray or just come along and just simply wipe down your worktop. Because at the end of the day, you've got this you have got precious metals everywhere. Um, if you want to come along and have a really good clean, clean the tops of your pickle jar, clean your bench, clean everything, wipe your hands, come along and clean your equipment, go over all the windowsills, go over the skirting boards, tops, tops the door frames, and literally every surface that you've got in your workshop is a place where precious metals will collect. You may not be able to see the precious metals with the naked eye, but believe you me, it is there in one way or another. And if it's like this, if it's in dust, it's precious metals. And what we do with this, we will put that into our sweeps container and send it off to the refiners. So I'm going to carry on now, just sort out my desk now. I've got my tools, I'm going to sort out my tools, make sure they're put back where they should do, sort out my burrs, clean my little pickling area here because we've got some spills. We've got some spills over here from the borax as well. So don't throw anything away. All these little bits of tissue, these, uh, these wet wipes that we collect, all get sent off to the refiners. Don't forget, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Smash the little bell icon if that is something that you are into. Share it with your friends, give this film a thumbs up. And I know it's not a really interesting film, but it's a fact of life. We just can't keep making jewelry and forget the general housekeeping. We need to keep the place tidy because everything around here has precious metals, has dust that is impregnated with some precious metals one way or another. And we do need to keep the place nice and tidy to be more productive. I'm going to do my bench now. I got some bits of silver over here. I've got to put to one side. My tools are building up by here, but put everything back in their place so you can be more productive. You can get to your tools a lot quicker because at the end of the day, time is money. Anyway, enough talking. I got another 10 minutes clearing out this bench now. Don't forget, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I've done that, haven't I? Anyway, <laughs> take care. I'll see you next time. Ta -da. Hi, my name's Andrew Berry. Oh, no, it's not, but it is, but that's wrong. Let's try and loosen this. Should we hard to loosen this? This one? Yeah, 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 yeah. This one, this one does what? That one, don't loosen this one. Um, <coughs> no, anyway. That's a fact of life, isn't it? We can't do everything. Give this, give this film a thumbs up if you want to show people my lovely clean tray. And, and don't forget, um, check back again. Uh, 
give this film a thumbs up. If you want to see Andrew's trade, just, oh, I don't know what to say. Don't think, blah, 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 blah.